Shalom, shalom, shalom. Greetings to you all that are watching us live this wonderful afternoon. We are coming to you live from Tononoka Social Hall. Remember, it is take-off service. And Dr. Bishop Robert Leofula is already inside the sanctuary, ready to minister to us in the spirit of excellence. Remember, today uh, we as we are, we have, we've come with expectation in our hearts. We are so waiting for Dr. Bishop Robert Leofula to deposit something in our spirit. No, we are so expectant. We are waiting to hear from God and we are also ready to receive what God has placed in his spirit. Now, last Sunday, he speech about Usiangalie Nyumba, and I believe that now in this work of God, Atutakwa Tukiangalie Nyumba. Now, Leo Pia is going to preach to us, and we are so much ready to listen to the word of God. Prepare your heart. Come with an expectant heart, so that you don't go back home the same way you came to this place. We are just urging you that the spirit of God is going to move powerfully. So, wherever you are, please tune into Shiloh TV on Facebook, tune into Shiloh TV on YouTube, because this program is being streamed live. Just listen to the word of God, and the word of God is able to change your life. Remember the word of God are the things that God has spoken. And we are here to listen to God uh, through the servant of God, Dr. Bishop Robert Leofula. And right now, I just want to invite Jemima so that we can usher you into this service. Je Shalom, Jemima. Shalom, Shalom. Uh, we are super excited. Yes. Wow. Dr. Bishop Robert Leofula is already inside the sanctuary, ready, ready to minister to us in the spirit of excellence. And we are super, super excited, waiting to hear what God has to say uh, regarding us uh, this, this afternoon. And because, you know, most of his messages, most of his messages are timely. And now we, we are just, uh, maybe we are expecting, could we be expecting too much or maybe uh, God is still speaking to us through him? I don't know your take. Sorry, uh, the question. I'm saying the, the, Dr. Bishop Robert Leofula has uh, summons have been very timely. He has been speaking to us and today we are also in so much high spirit or uh, is it that we are over expecting uh, him to speak to us? <laughs> Uh, we are not over expecting. Nafikiri kama pila mbapo umesema, mwanzo kamsa ni msarimie mtazamaji pale. Maneno yake yote, ama mafundisho yake yote, yamekua ni mafundisho ya wakati. Na ni mafundisho ambayo yamekua ya kituelekeza katika kumrudia mungu kwa wale ambapo pengine tulikuwa tumetoka kwa mungu. Na pia vile vile kuwa na ukaribu na mungu kwa wale ambapo pengine wanajihisi ya kwamba wako mbali na mungu. Na pia vile vile kuwa na ushirika na mungu. Kwa hivyo, tunatarajia mazuri pengine si mengi sana maana hatujui Mungu ametuandalia nini leo lakini tunashukuru tu kwa kile ambacho Mungu ametuandalia leo na tunajua ya kwamba kile ambacho kitakuja pia vile vile kitakuwa ni cha wakati maana mtumishi wa Mungu huyu yeye hutembea na roho wa Mungu kama vile ambavyo umesema neno ambalo huwa analitoa ni neno la wakati kwa hivyo ni Mungu ndiye ambaye anampatia hilo neno ili akaweze kutu, kutulisha sisi kwa hivyo amekuja hapa kutuhudumia na sisi si tu bali pia vile vile yule mtazamaji maji ambaye yuko pale. Kwa hivyo we are not expecting much but maybe we are expecting much we don't know. Lakini kile tunachojua ni kwamba tunatarajia kutoka kwa Mungu kupitia kwa mpako mafuta wake baba yetu mpendwa Bishop Robert Elia Wafula. Sometimes somebody wait to we don't know how much you've prepared your heart to receive from the Lord but I pray that uh, this time even you are watching us try to create uh, an expectation in your life in your heart. Let it dwell within you. Let the the, the urge of the Lord burn in you so that when the man of God comes he will find you or she he will find you ready to receive from the Lord. And uh, we are super, super excited for Dr. Bishop Robert Leofula. And I know he's going to minister powerfully to us today. Uh, so you can also support Shilo TV by sending your money to pay bill number 877590. If I'm not wrong, you can support us and the Lord will bless you. As you can see from the background, a lot is going on and we are receiving from Jehovah God. So let us support Shilo TV. Let us support this great man of God that has been serving us for a long time. And he has taught us to listen to the word of God and even to preach the pure gospel. And we really love God and we thank God for the way he's using Dr. Bishop Robert Leofula. Now please allow me to hand you over to my co-presenter, Jemi Mangala. Shalom. Uh, sante sana pengine hata usingelienda kwa sababu hatuna mengi sana ya kuongea leo we are just uh, uh, we are just waiting eagerly yani leo ni jumapili ya maana sana kwetu kwa sababu sisi wenyewe wa ndani ya nyumba sisi wenyewe watoto uh, wa baba yetu mpendwa bishop robert elia wafula tunaelewa kile ambacho kinaendelea ambacho ni kizuri na ambacho pia vile vile uh, 
tunatarajia mazuri. Wacha tu niseme tunatarajia mazuri. Uh, huyu mtu wa Mungu ni mtu ambaye kama vile ambavyo umesema ni mtu wa kujitolea. Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu anasema yeye ndiye njia ya kweli na uzima. Mtu haendi kwa baba ila kupitia kwake yeye. Kwa hivyo yule anayehubiriwa maeneo haya ni huyo Yesu ambaye ndiye njia ya uzima. Kwa hivyo wewe ambao uko pale nyumbani mimi hata sitaki masi atoke hapa. Wewe ambao uko pale nyumbani nina kukaribisha kwa ibada ya leo wakati ambapo unaketi kusikiza jua ya kwamba hili neno ambalo baba yetu mpendwa Bishop Robert Elia Wafula atalitamka leo ni neno la wakati sana kwako na lina significant kubwa sana kwako ni neno ambalo unafaa kulishika na kutembea nalo manake anga ya leo itakuwa anga isiyokuwa ya kawaida kwa hivyo ubarikiwe uinuliwe na ujengwe shalom ninasoma maneno haya fungueni mioyo yenu kwa dakika hizi chache nifanye ibada ya kudiklea kwa anga yako nyumba ile ambayo watu walikuwa wanapoteza ofisi zao wale wana waeli nyumba ile ile Samueli alikuwa nainuka you can choose what you want to become yule yule mzee anaitwa Eli ambaye wale vijana walikuwa hawamsikizi the same same say Samueli anamsikiliza na Eli anampa direction aende akutane na Mungu You can choose what you want to become. Nyumba ile ile ambayo ukuhani unadidimia na unakufa katika mikono ya watoto wa Eli in the same house ukuhani unakita mizizi katika mikono ya Samuel You can choose what you want to become today. Hiyo ni sauti ya mtu kuna kitu amekundua kwa anga. Hiyo ni sauti ya mtu kuna mahali amefunguka macho akaona. mzee yule yule Eli anaongea na watoto wake hawamsikilizi mzee yule yule Eli anaongea na Samueli anamsikiliza vile Eli yuko kwa kina Phinehas sivyo alivyo kwa Samueli Samueli amemchukulia tofauti kwani anasikia sauti sio Eli amemuita lakini anakimbia kwake anamuheshimu na kumtambua Eli Your destiny can start now Hao ni maneno tu kwa mtu ana roho kama ya Samuel umekaa na mimi kwa siku nyingi Samuel your destiny can start now I see the glory of God coming upon you like a heavy rain for the lord has appointed you to speak on his behalf for the lord has
has appointed you to carry his power for the Lord has appointed you that through you he's going to manifest to many people look at your hands you are carrying authority Naongea tu na Samuel. Finehasi mambo yao yamekwisha. Acha niongee na Samuel. 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 Samuel Mungu anakuita. Samuel. 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 Unaanza kazi Samuel. 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 Mahali ambapo kina Finehasi waliharibia Samueli utanyorosha Samueli Shabueli Mungu atakutumia Samueli 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 kuanzia leo unakuwa tofauti na ndugu zako unakuwa tofauti na dada zako Samuel 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 kuna neema isiyo ya kawaida itaenda pamoja nawe Samuel inua uso wako juu Samuel finua kinywa chako mwambie Bwana sema mtumishi wako anasikia Samuel Samuel kubali mwito kubali mwito yakabosha baba yakata ya marebo katelelele ba Ora baba 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 Watu wa kawaida watabaki wa kawaida lakini watu waliokataa kutembea wa kawaida wanavalishwa kutokuwa na ukawaida Yakaboriba kanta yama loko koboriba reba baba 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 ba. ninakuacha na anga isiyo ya kawaida ninakuacha na wingu la utokofo ninakuacha ukinuliwa ninakuacha ukisikia sauti ya Bwana ninakuacha ukifundishwa na roho wa Bwana yakaboriba e Samuel ninakuacha na kuacha ukinuliwa na kuacha ukinuliwa Samuel leo Samuel Samuel
my father oh my god madhabahu ya mungu yanaongea na wewe mtu mwerefu anapelekeza uso kuelekea huko moja kwa moja ni njia moja ya kusema inua uso wako natoa matangazo yafuatayo kwenye madhabahu haya maneno haya ndiyo nimepewa anza kutoka anza kutoka anza kutoka mahali ulikuwa umefungiwa anza kutoka anza kutoka anza kutoka mahali ulikuwa umezuiliwa anza kutoka anza kutoka anza kutoka anza kutoka anza kutoka ninapita 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 nikiongea ninapita nikipiga filimbi ya kwamba wote waliokuwa wamefungwa he wakazuiliwa kwa laana waanze kutoka hiyo ni firimbi ya watu waanze kutoka watu waanze kutoka watoke kwa laana zao watoke kwa vifungo vyao watu waanze kutoka watu waanze kutoka watu waanze kutoka maneno haya nimeyapata he kwenye kitabu cha kutoka mlango wa 12 mstari wa 30 hadi 32 he kitabu cha kutoka mlango wa 12 mstari wa 30 hadi 32 farao akaondoka usiku yeye na watumishi wake wote na wamisri wote kawa na kilio kikuu katika Misri maana hapakuwa na nyumba hata moja asimokufa mtu akawaita Musa na Haruni usiku akasema ondokeni tokeni kati ka watu wangu ninyi na wana wa Israeli enendeni kamtumikieni Bwana kama mlivyosema tuaini kondoo zenu na ngombe zenu kama mlivyosema enendeni zenu mkanibariki mimi pia ninaona Musa akishughulika anaambia watu anza kutoka anza kutoka he farao amefika mwisho anza kutoka farao amefika mwisho anza kutoka nasimama kwenye madhabahu haya e, ninasema kama Musa anza kutoka anza kutoka anza kutoka nimesikia kuanga nimesikia kuanga waliosema hutaendelea wamefika mwisho waliosema hutazaa wamefika mwisho waliosema hutabarikiwa wamefika mwisho anza kutoka anza kutoka waliofunga kazi yako wamefika mwisho walio funga pesa yako wamefika mwisho waliofunga tumbo lako wamefika mwisho waliofunga pesa yako wamefika mwisho anza kutoka anza kutoka anza kutoka waliokufungia kwa magonjwa wamefika mwisho e farao amefika mwisho e farao anahangaika e kuna watu wamekuzuia usimwabudu bwana e kuna watu wamekuzuia usimtumikie bwana e kuna watu wame kwenye mamani usimtumikie bwana e, kuna roho ya farao haitaki uendelee waliosema hautaendelea wamefika mwisho waliofunga kazi yako wamefika mwisho waliofunga biashara yako wamefika mwisho wafula napitia hapa e, ni Musa wa leo anza kutoka anza kutoka e, kutoka kwa laana e, kutoka kwa vifungo e, kutoka kwa mashetani e, kutoka kwa mikono yao anza kutoka kutoka anza kutoka anza kutoka e, anza kutoka anza kutoka anza kutoka e, farao amefika mwisho alizuia ndio lakini akafika mwisho watu wamekuzuia lakini wamefika mwisho e, farao farao amefika mwisho e, farao amefika mwisho e, natangaza leo anza kutoka anza kutoka e, safari inaanza e, safari inaanza e, safari ya huduma e, safari inaanza. Anza, e safari ya maendeleo, 
e safari inaanza e safari ya kuinuliwa e safari inaanza e safari ya upenyo e safari inaanza e safari ya kubarikiwa e safari inaanza umetukano vya kutosha e safari inaanza anza kutoka anza kutoka usibaki misri tena anza kutoka anza kutoka e farah meitana anasema ondoka anasema kwamba ondoka ondoka e farah kaitana akatumana e musa kaitwa haruni akaitwa akawaambia ondoka 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 etoka na ngombe zenu etoka na kondoo zenu e ninatangaza anza kutoka anza kutoka etoka na pesa yako etoka na maisha yako etoka na kizazi chako etoka na uzao wako etoka na maisha yako etoka na nyumba yako etoka na mali yako etoka toka uende etoka na ndoa yako etoka na maisha yako etoka na vitu vyako etoka na huduma yako etoka na kipawa chako anza kutoka anza kutoka hakuna kulala tena e ninaona Musa anaenda around anawaambia waisraeli usingizi oh, hamtaumalizia hapa e twende twende hamtaumalizia hapa e nami wa fula e Musa wa leo e ninatangaza hautamalizia hapo hautamalizia hapo ni mbele mbele e ni mbele mbele anza kutoka anza kutoka e napasa sauti e kwa watu waliotukanwa e watu waliosengenywa anza kutoka iko wingu na neema inakofunika wewe si wa kawaida watetewa na bwana usikawia kawie usichelewe anza kutoka e safari ya mafanikio inaanza e safari ya kuinuka inaanza anza kutoka e kwa vifungo vyao anza kutoka e kwa mashetani yao anza kutoka e kwa uchao wao e farao amefika mwisho e farao e kwa nyumba yako amefika mwisho e farao e farao aliyekuonea amefika mwisho e farao aliyeshika mateka e nyumba yako amefika mwisho e farao aliyeshika mateka e kizazi chako amefika mwisho amefanya yote yamemshinda 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 yamekwama yamekwama e farao amefika mwisho amekuroga ndio lakini kuanzia leo imekwama imekwama e mitambo yao imekataa uchawi yao imekataa e mizimu yao imekwama e mizimu yao imekwama e farao amefika mwisho amefika mwisho anza kutoka anza kutoka e ninatangaza e kwa watu wa Mungu anza kutoka itana yeso itana yeso itana yeso itana yeso itana yeso
wale wali kufunga wale wali funga maisha yako wamefika mwisho wale wali funga maisha yako wamefika mwisho farao amefika mwisho na ndio maana nakwambia anza kutoka anza kutoka Musa hakuchoka Musa hakuchoka Musa hakuchoka wafula hatachoka wafula hatachoka Musa hakuchoka mpaka waisali wakatoka Musa hakuchoka mpaka waisali wakatoka alienda kwa farao e tena na tena akaenda tena na tena na mimi naenda tena na tena naenda tena na tena naenda kwa hiyo mizimo naenda kwa hiyo mizimo walikofunga maisha yako ninaenda tena ninaenda tena ninaenda tena naenda kwa hiyo madhabahu waliopeleka nywele zako walipeleka nguo zako walipeleka chakula walipeleka maisha yako walipeleka afya yako walipeleka pesa yako ninaenda tena ninaenda tena ninaenda huko tena ninaenda tena ninaenda tena ninaenda tena narudi huko tena narudi narudi tena huko huko kwa miungu huko huko kwa miungu huko huko kwa miungu ninaenda tena ninaenda tena ninaenda tena kama Musa alifanya akaenda tena hata mimi naenda tena lazima wafika mwisho lazima waachilie lazima waachilie hii madhabahu hii madhabahu ya miungu hii madhabahu iliyozaliwa ukaikuta kwa boma leno inayokushumbua mpaka wa leo haujaendelea mpaka wa leo umezaa watoto hauoni wakienda sawa e, wanasumbuliwa na vitu hivyo vielewa e, kumbe ni magano e, magano ya ukoo e, kumbe ni magano e, magano ya mizimo yanasumbua e, kumbe ni farao anasema hakuna e, kumbe ni farao amekataa ati hautaendelea e, ninatangaza e, farao e, leo leo amefika mwisho amefika mwisho amefika mwisho e kwa hivyo watu wa Mungu anza kutoka anza kutoka anza kutoka e kwa hiyo minyororo anza kutoka anza kutoka kwa hizo vifungo anza kutoka anza kutoka anza kutoka leo ni kutoka leo ni kutoka leo ni kutoka e farao akaamuka ushiku wa manane akaitana akasema chukua chukua muondoke chukua muondoke 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 chukua ngombe zenu chukua ngombe zenu chukua kondo zenu chukua watu wako e muondoke e muondoke e toka toka e muondoke hapa e toka muende boka mtumikie bwana e kama mlivyosema nenda nenda hatutazuia tena hatutazuia tena e nenda mkamtumikie e kuna manabii e wako hapa watachulikana watachulikana e muda umeenda e vipawa vya watu e vimenyanyaswa e vimekaliwa e vimezimwa lakini kuanzia leo likakebosha e kwa waisraeli e kulikuwa e na jamii ya walawi watu wakotumika e katika madhabahu lakini wakiwa e kwa mikono ya farao walikuwa westeta walikuwa wananyanyaswa wanafanyishwa kazi ngumu hawakufaidika e mama umeangaika baba umeangaika lakini anza kutoka kijana umeangaika kijana umeteseka wamekula nguvu yako wamekula maisha yako wamekumaliza unazeka unashangaa itakuwaje kule mbele na kutia moyo leo anza kutoka anza kutoka anza kutoka anza kutoka hiyo ndiyo napasa sauti anza kutoka anza kutoka anza kutoka walawi wataonekana walawi wataonekana yuda atachulikana ya kwamba katika yuda kuko na mtawala ya kwamba katika yuda kuko na mfalme lakini hangechulikana wakiwa misri ila walipotoka hapo ndipo kina daudi wakaanza kutokezea hapo ndipo sulemani akaanza kutokezea ukitoka ukitoka utachua huduma yako utachua huduma yako ukitoka ukitoka e watu watachua wawe ni kuhani e watu watachua wawe ni mtawala ukitoka ukitoka utapata kazi
kazi yako ukitoka utakotoka utapata kazi yako ishakari walipewa kipawa cha kuelewa majira utaelewa kuanga ukitoka leo unatambiri tena anza kutoka anza kutoka usichelewe anza kutoka etoka twende etwende kwa kazi zetu etwende kwa biashara e kuna kazi nzuri inangojea mke wako inangojea mume wako inangojea mwanao anza kutoka na farao amefika mwisho amefika mwisho wamekupeleka mbio lakini wamefika mwisho wamekupiga sana lakini wamefika mwisho na roho ya waliokufa wamekuandama sana lakini wamefika mwisho ainuliwe bwana wamefika mwisho wamefika mwisho wamepigwa na bwana wamefika mwisho wamelimwa na yeso wamefika mwisho wamekamatwa na mungu wamefika mwisho wamepewa pewa wamefika mwisho wamechoma na moto wamefika mwisho wamepigwa na radi wamefika mwisho wamefika mwisho hawatakuweza 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 anza kutoka echomo katwende echomo katwende na waamsha leo echomo katwende usilale usilale tumalizie mbele echomo katomoka echomo katomoka tumalizie mbele tumalizie mbele hatutamalizia hapa hatutamalizia hapa usilale mama echomo katwende echomo katwende usilale baba echomo katwende ni masaya kwenda anza kutoka anza kutoka kwa ukawaida anza kutoka kiwango cha kawaida anza kutoka anza kutoka itana yesu chukua 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 watu wa nyumba yako chukua waanze kutoka chukua 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 ngombe zako chukua kondoo zako chukua watu wa nyumba yako chukua anza kutoka farao amefika mwisho farao amefika mwisho farao amefika mwisho nasimama hapa kukwambia pole mama pole pole kwa mapito mazito pole mama pole baba pole pole mzee pole kijana pole umeumizwa sana umeumizwa ukiangalia watoto wake wakiwa mateka pole 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 umeweka nguvu yako kwa kitu na kichaenda pole sana lakini farao amefika mwisho furaha kubwa ni kwamba farao amefika mwisho anza kutoka anza kutoka anza kutoka kwa anga yako unapoomba oh, anza kutoka anza kutoka chukua roho ya kufanikiwa chukua hiyo chukua kusanya vitu zako kusanya twende unaambia watu wa nyumba yako twende 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 tutoke kwa utumwa twende tutoke kwa hizi shida oh my father oh my father twende 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 unaitana baba Uraitana my father my father my father my father mteteaji wangu oh my father ukiwa umesimama na mnao itana itana kutoka kwa kile cha rehema oh safari yangu inaanza unatamuka maneno ninaanza ninaanza mimi huyo mimi huyo mimi huyo ninaanza ile babosha uraka kaba shanta ya laba shele baba loko boliba le babosha lorolobo anza kutoka anza kutoka anza kutoka wacha niende wacha niende wacha niende wacha niende nikamtumikie bwana wacha niende wacha niende wacha niende kwa kazi yangu wacha niende kwa maisha yangu 
Oi baba, nisaidie kwenda hiyo njia. Nisaidie kwenda. Nisaidie kutembea hiyo njia. Wacha niende. Nika Anaita wachawi, anaita waganga, anaita wenye akili wa msaidie. Lakini raundi hii akasema hapana. Tokeni amefika mwisho. Amefika mwisho. Farao amefika mwisho. Amefika mwisho. Farao amefika mwisho. Namuona Musa anawaendea watu, anawaambia anza kutoka. Anza kutoka maana yule Farao amefika mwisho. Hawezi kuzuia tena. Hawezi, hawezi. Oi baba yangu, baba yangu naye nipigania. Hawezi, hawezi Farao kuzuia tena. Baba yangu, wewe ndio unanishindania. Baba yangu, baba yangu, niwekee ule wimbo. Niwekee ule wimbo. Niwekee ule wimbo. Niwekee ule wimbo. Niwekee ule wimbo baba. Niwekee ule baba yangu. Baba shanta ya baba. Baba yangu, baba. Baba yangu, wapikuni. Baba yangu naweza. Baba yangu. Baba yangu, baba. Baba yangu. Mambo yangu yabadilike. Baba yangu, mambo yangu yabadilike. Baba yangu naweza. Sinapungu kama wewe. Baba yangu, kuna Mungu kama wewe. Baba yangu Oh, 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 oh,
uweke kwa madhabahu mwambie ninaanza nimeanza nimeanza haya nimeanza kutoka nimeanza nimeanza kutoka nimeanza kutoka usipoeshe ibada iko kwa mikono yako wewe ndio utaamua nimeanza 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 kutoka nimeanza nimeanza oh nimeanza kutoka njoo nimeanza nafasi yako just remember kile baba wa mbinguni amefanya kwako si usitoke kwa nafasi yako wewe na mke wako you know where you belong kaa hapo hapo nasikia nipate mtu mmoja tu Nipate tu mtu mmoja ambaye ako na roho anaweza kaunganisha na mimi. Anyoshe mikono yake tu mtu mmoja tu anisaidie kusema baba. 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 Nipate huyo mtu mmoja. Nipate huyo mtu mmoja. Oh my lord. Baba, 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 baba. Nipate mtu mmoja tu. Mtu mmoja aweke mikono yake juu. Mtu mmoja, mtu mmoja. Haya ya 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 ya. Anaita baba mfalme wa falme. Uta, utakaaje mbele ya mfalme wa falme? Utamuonesha hii namna gani? Haya ya baba, 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 baba. Unakaaje mbele zake? Yaani unakaa vipi? Unajiweka vipi mbele ya mfalme wa wafalme? Ni mfalme wa wafalme. 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 Bado hauchapata. Ni mfalme wa wafalme. Usingojeni kuambie kila kitu. Nasema tu ni mfalme wa wafalme. Anastahili heshima. Ni mfalme wa wafalme. Bado hauchapata. Ni mfalme wa wafalme itabidi nikwambie wewe itabidi nikueleze simama simama mfalme wa falme simama mbele zake Ukisema baba Weka 
historia
Fanyia bwana kazi. Baba tumeinama mbele zako watoto wako hawa. Tumekubali kuanza, tumesikia habari njema kwamba farao amefika mwisho. Ndio asande kwa kutupigania. Huyu farao amekuwa katili, amekuwa kichwa ngumu, amekuwa kizuizi kikubwa. Asante kwa kumugonga, asante kwa kumupiga, asante kwa kumutwanga, asante kwa kumufinya. Amefika mwisho. Hawezi kuitana msaada tena. Hawezi kutunyanyasa tena. Amefika mwisho. Sasa mtumishi wako Musa wa leo anaenda akisema anza kutoka. Ndivyo nimekuja kutangaza kwa watu wako waanze kutoka. Milango yao imefunguka. Sasa waanze watoke waingie. Wamtumikie Bwana na wafanyike kile wanastahili. Bwana ni asante huduma ya mtu inaanza leo. Maana imefunguliwa. Mtu aanze kupona Mtu anze kuinuliwa. Bwana nimeanza kutoka. Nimeanza. 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 Oh. Ninaona watu wanaamshana usiku wa manane. Wanaambiwa tumefaulu. Tumeachiliwa. Tumeachiliwa. Ninaona watu wanaamshana usiku. Bwana ninawaamsha watu wako. Nawaamsha nawaambia twende, twendeni, twendeni. Twendeni, twendeni, twendeni kwetu. Twendeni kule tulitamani kuwa. Twendeni 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 kwa ile kazi tulitamani twendeni farao amefika mwisho hoi baba yangu wewe umemchokesha farao umemfanya farao amechoka amepambana na sisi amechoka ameshindwa amesarenda mwenyewe bwana ni asante ndio tunakuita baba baba umetupigania wewe ni mwaminifu uwe nasi kwa hii safari tunapoenda tukavuke kwa uwezo wako baka tukapite katika lile jangwa lot tukaingie katika ahad katika inji ya kanani iliyo na maziwa na asali tukufu ni wako bwana na heshima oi baba yangu ni asante kwa kunipatia watoto hawa na mimi nasema uwalinde uwahifadhi kwa utukufu wa jina lako ubariki kila mmoja wao asante kwa wote waliounganana nami kupitia shino tv Bwana ni asante na wote wanaonipokea kupitia mitambo ile ya kijamii. Bwana uwatembelee. Waanze, waanze, waanze saa hii waanze kutoka. Waanze sababu farao amefika mwisho. Asante Bwana kwa kutupenda kiwango kama hichi. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba. Amen. Tunainuka tukimpa Yesu sadaka nzuri ya makofi. Oh. Unaifanya hiyo ibada kwa haraka. Kumtukuza mfalme wa falme. Amen. Tazamaji wangu Mungu akubariki. Ninaagana na wewe nikikwambia anza kutoka. Maana Farao amefika mwisho kwa heri. Uh, shalom, shalom, shalom. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in to Shilo TV. Uh, we have come to the end of today's service, and the service was led by Dr. Bishop Robert Eliawafula, the founder of Shalom Mirako Church International, the general of Asia, and he has preached so powerfully. I read the scriptures from the book of Exodus, chapter 12, from verses 30 to 32. Now, uh, it was, he preached about Anza Kutoka Farao Amefika Mwisho. Now, uh, I want us to start by, by, by summarizing what is Egypt. Now, Egypt means or Egypt symbolizes the world that will uh, will untimely ultimately actually fail us. Egypt symbolizes slavery. Egypt also symbolizes a place of oppression. Egypt also symbolizes a place to come up out of. Now, let's look what is Pharaoh? What does the, the name Pharaoh symbolizes? Now, the name Pharaoh symbolizes the stumbling block to the children of Israel and then Pharaoh also symbolizes the oppressive 
power. Now, Dr. Bishop has said uh, he's, our, he's our today's uh, Moses and he has actually instructed us that to one Zekutoka. Now, Unatoka from where? You are, talk, you, you are supposed to come out of that uh, sicknesses and disease. You're supposed to come out of that uh, witchcraft power that has been following. You're supposed to come out of that sicknesses and disease. You're supposed to come out of that joblessness. You're supposed to come out of that financial constraint that you are in uh, because the Lord has, 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 has released the anointing of that and the grace that will help us walk out of that Egypt. Now, imagine you've been told to walk out of that slavery and yet be, when you, you are to, you've been told to walk out of that slavery and yet before you there's the Red Sea. When you look behind you can see chariots of Pharaoh following you. They still, watch, they still want to catch up with you. Don't worry. Just walk. Just go ahead. Just You've been told to leave. You leave. Go because that Red Sea that is before you, Jehovah God is going to part it uh, and you are going to walk on the dry land. Now, uh, remember what happened to the pharaohs and the chariots while they were following uh, the children of Israel. Now, whoever is after your life, whoever has been following you, let me tell you that they, they will meet the wrath of God even before they reach you. Just like the children of Israel, they had the Red Sea before them and the Lord... <coughs> Sorry, they, they had the Red Sea before them and imagine they had the presence of God with them. They walked on dry land. God parted that Red Sea and they were able to walk on the dry land. So, Anza Kutoka. Anza Kutoka. Leo, so, you know, I'm inviting Jemima so that we can have a wider a discussion regarding this. Shalom, Jemima. Hello. Uh, you can see now today, Dr. Bishop Robert Elewa Fula, we, we've always said that his messages are so timely. Imagine we have been told, Anza Kutoka. Anza Kutoka. Mm -hmm. Anza Kutoka. Na wakati ambapo walipo kwa akiubiri neno hilo, uh, nime stumble on something ambo nime, nime, nime itafuta. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 43, 18 to 19, inasema, msia kumbuke ya kwanza, wala msia tafakari mambo ya zamani, tazama ninatenda neno jipia, sasa litachipuka. Je, hamta lijua sasa, nitafanya njia hata jangwani na mito ya maji ya nyikani. So God is doing something. Mungu, mungu anafanya jambo jipia leo uh, kwa jili ya wana na waizraeli tunatoka kutoka kwa vifungo tuingie katika uhuru tunatoka katika uh, katika katika ufu tuingie katika uzima tunatoka katika magonjo tuingie katika afya njema kwa hivyo tunatoka kule ambako ni kubaya sasa tunaingia kule ambako ni kuzuri so Mungu anafanya jambo jipya sasa katika maisha yetu na hii inatuonyesha kwamba sasa tumevuka daraja lingine mwanzo kabisa uh, tukiangalia wiki mbili tatu nne zilizopita baba yetu alikuwa na ma, na mafundisho ya kutuonya mengi tu ya kutuonya uh, iwapo pengine mtazamaji alikuwa kifuatilia pale then akaja sasa akawa ni mambo kama ya baraka baraka na kutusukuma kwa Mungu yani kutupatia urejesho kwa Mungu na upatanishi na ushirikiano uh, kwa Mungu lakini leo sasa amesema ya kwamba eh, kuna kitu sasa ambacho tunatoka tukapate kukipokea kwa hivyo kuna jambo jipya ambalo linafanyika na ameacha mambo mengi sana kwenye anga akaongea kuhusu Samueli mtoto Samueli akasema ya kwamba Samueli yeye kwa hasiki. I mean, Samueli, Samueli was the obedient one. Wale watoto wa Eli walikuwa disobedient. Yani, amejaribu kukurilate hawa wawili. Zile tabia zao, zile karakter zao. Na akamweka Eli pale. Na akijie, akijieka pia yeye katika nafasi ya kituambia sisi kama watoto wake. Na pia vile vile akimweka mungu katika nafasi na sote pia vile vile kama watoto wake. Sijui kama mtu ananipata na kunielewa pale. Kwa hivyo, iwapo umekuwa katika njia ambazo siza sawa. Ni fanya haraka upesi. Wewe ingia katika njia ambayo ni ya sawa usipitwe na hili wingu la kutoka isije watu wakatoka wao kabaki Thank you so much guys like Jemima has said Bishop actually started by giving us the story of Eli you remember Eli's sons were very disobedient but then the, Samuel came and Samuel was able to partake of the blessings that was upon Eli and Samuel become a very powerful person during those days now if you know you are connected to Dr. Bishop Robert Eli Wafula and you still don't value him uh, as a father or maybe as you are as you are as you are anointed father or as your prophet let me tell you people will come and partake of these blessings and you will just be the same so we would only urge you as our as our viewer and as our follower that if you you know you, know you respect this anointed man of god whatever he tells you to do please do it because that is the only way to achieve the blessings of god now, now jemima we've been told kutoka and uh, now imagine someone living and this red sea right before you what would you tell that person red sea iko hapo mbele mm -hmm. 
Mungu yuko hapo mbele maana yake niendo amekwambia utoke anasuluhishwa hapo mbele kumbuka anamwambia Musa wewe kwa nini mwanzo hata unalalamika Musa wewe eka fimbo hapo nimekupatia all authority nimekupatia vifaa vyote vya kutumia tamka ama fanya na mimi ni na mimi ni, ni kujibu sa hiyo hiyo Mo, Moses had that connection Mungu anasema mimi ninaongea na Musa ana kwa ana kwa hivyo Musa nikana kwamba yani Mungu uh, anashangani kwa nini Musa haoni ya kwamba yeye ana nguvu za kutosha ama Mungu amemwamini vya kutosha kwamba ni aongee tu na ile hiyo uh, bahari aseme eh hey, ama achape ama afanye chochote maana ile ni instruction alifanya kupewa lakini Mungu anamuuliza why are you even bothered why are you kwa nini unalalamika kwa hivyo wakati mwingine e, tujue tu ya kwamba e, ikiwa huku nyuma umetoka na ni Mungu amekwambia utoke kama leo na ufike hapo mbele upate a challenge e, ujue ya kwamba huyo huyo Mungu ambaye ame, 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 ama Mungu alijua kutakuwa na hiyo challenge akikwambia ushike hiyo njia ni anajua kuna kitu hapo mbele anasuluhi show I, I I I really agree with you Jamima because you know when God says something he will give you the grace and everything that it takes to make you go through that uh, sometimes uh, you do want God to remove that mountain but uh, how about God giving you the heavier back to be able to go through that mountain or maybe you say like you said Moses uh, we, we've always had something or we always have something that we'll use to to get our breakthrough Moses had a rod and God told him you remember even behind Mungwakamuliza what do we have at a have the rod akamwambia hit that rock remember na hata kwanza because of asira ali hit your rock mara mbili but then maji ilitoka so we believe mtu huo uko na kitu kwa mikono yako nguvu iko kwa mikono yako piga hiyo rod and whatever is before you whatever is before you maybe that red sea just hit that red sea god will give you the grace and we've seen god doing extraordinary things it was elisha that was fed by that kunguru ama ni nini na vile ni mchoyo wa nyama yes 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 actually when he was about wakati ambapo alikuwa yuko katika kuanza safari ukumbuka hii safari imetajwa sana na baba yetu mpendwa bishop robert elia wafula kwa hivyo kuna safari nyingi ambazo zimetajwa leo ambazo zitaanza kuchipuka wakati ambapo eh, 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 uyo uh, kurabu mimi nitamuita kurabu ambaye ni kunguru anamletea uh, anamletea chakula eh, eh, Elijah anamletea kwa sababu ya ile safari ya siku arobaini ambayo alikuwa atakuwa nayo na hata kula hata kula so hiyo chakula kidogo ambayo alikuwa kiletewa ndio ilimsustain for all the yes Yes. Kwa hivyo uh, Mungu haizi kukuruhusu uingie mahali bila kwamba e, bila kukupatia nguvu za kuendelea. Kwa hivyo hata sisi ikiwa tuko kwenye safari zetu Mungu ametupatia tayari nguvu za kuendelea. Asante uh, sana guys. Thank you so much for tuning into Shilo TV. We have come to the end of today's service and I thank you so much that was my co-presenter Jamima Mezangala. We were just trying to revisit and of course to analyze uh, this preaching by Dr. Bishop Robert Leofuna. Now that you've been told talk up on misery. Now anza kutoka misery man- Okay, God has given you enough grace and uh, enough power to get out or to come up out of that misery that you are in. So we thank God at this at this afternoon and this evening that he has remembered us. Remember the word of God has come from the servant of God Dr. Bishop Robert Fula and we strongly believe that God is still speaking to us through the servants of God. And we thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for your comments. Thank you so much so much for your shares with God. It works. Shalom.